I perched myself in front of the window because it is another incredibly dreary day. I don't know um, why I choose to make vlogs. Well, it's not my fault actually, Mother Nature. Um, it's very rainy and dark today, so this is kind of the best light that I have, um, and I don't have makeup on, so <clears throat> I'm a little self-conscious of that. But anyway, so today's not just sort of a regular day, I guess. Uh, well, in Canada, we have what's called um, the CSAs, which stands for the Canadian Screen Awards, which are basically, it's the Emmys and the Oscars smashed together for Canada. Um, I've worked on them before, and I've also been a seat filler before, a non-moving seat filler, because I wasn't getting up. Um, but uh, today I'm nominated, so I'm really excited. We're nominated for best children's nonfiction series, I believe, for um, a show that I produced, co-produced, um, called We Are Savvy with my wonderful, beautiful co-producer, Adrian. It's actually her gem of an idea, and um, she and Banger Films brought me on board, and we made this amazing show, and um, we're nominated, which is kind of cool. So it's not just a regular Tuesday. Um, so I thought it might be kind of fun to do a vlog. It's probably just gonna be a lot of, um, I don't know, loud, drunk friends. That's kind of what I'm thinking this video will end up being. And if that's the case, maybe it won't see the light of day, or maybe it will, maybe it'll be my best vlog ever. Um, so yeah, so it's morning. I've shipped my kids off. I don't see them again until tomorrow, which is always really weird for me to have an empty house. And I'm gonna go get my hair done. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear, because I think back in the day, probably when I was younger, I cared sort of way more. And it's not that I don't care. I just think that you get to a point where you, you know, think it doesn't really matter. I think I used to put so much emphasis on, you know, my outfit and what I was gonna look like. And I read this great quote somewhere. No, it was a girlfriend. A girlfriend said to me that, is your outfit gonna change the outcome of your night? Or is your, you know, the way you look going to change the outcome of the night? It's not. Again, that all boils back down to, you know, wanting to look your best and, you know, and that's all fair, but I feel like um, I used to put way more emphasis on that. So anyway, I'm gonna put a little effort into it and I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm gonna wear, but I still don't know. So anyway, yeah, it's kind of fun. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I got my hair done, which was nice. Um, and in typical me fashion, I haven't committed yet to what I'm wearing and I'm leaving in a couple of hours. I mean, I know that's tons of time, but I should probably decide. I don't go out much. <laughs> so when I go out, I don't know. I don't really think about it. If I'm not in jeans or cargo pants or jogging pants, um, I don't really spend a lot of time on it. So let's go, I'm gonna go look and see. See if we can see them here. So I love this dress. I wore it to my friend Rachel's wedding. I love it. I don't know if it's like a dress you wear to an awards show, although I don't think it matters. I love this dress. I love this dress. This is like your little black dress and it's got this little panel of like mesh right at the belly and then again kind of at the knee and I love it or actually is that even at the knee no it's a little further down but I've worn it before to this exact thing so I feel like I shouldn't this is hard to see but this is a jumpsuit that I love I love this jumpsuit I love it I've worn it tons though I've got tons of great use out of that I've worn that to parties I've worn it casual to work I think have I? And I've worn it on a date. That's gotten lots of use, so I'm not so worried about that one. Um, this I love. This is a bodysuit. It's velvet. It's kind of cute, right? And then I have this sort of gold skirt, and then I also have like this kind of skirt, whatever. I don't even know what that material is. But that would look cute, but I feel like that's too much. Like it's not the Oscars. As if anyone would wear this to the Oscars. I don't know. There it is, those are my four options. This is what I've come down to. One, two, three, four. But I think I'm leaning. I'm leaning. Ooh, I don't know. 
All right, it's a mystery. Let's start with, we needed Alex and Lisa to write this. Let's start with. Okay, so I'm here, I'm here with my beautiful co-producer friend, Aww. Adrian. Um, and we <laughs> are sitting in the front um, foyer of her house. And foyer. Foyer. <laughs> <laughs> the shoe room. The <laughs> We're sitting in the so, shoe room so of her house. And we just realized that <laughs> we aren't prepared if we win. I guess, did we not think we would win? Or we just, I don't know. I think we picked our outfits first. <laughs> so I don't know. So now we're here and we are realizing that we needed to write something down. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. We're writing something down right now and we really need to go actually. Um, we're gonna do it the way that we think <laughs> is endearing maybe, or charming or something. I don't yeah. know. Quick, savvy, short. Savvy style. Rapid savvy fire. Style. Yeah. Um, totally. And just um, not irritating, <laughs> hopefully. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully everyone's really drunk. These shirts are an outstanding television for our younger audience. Best Children's Read Non-Fiction Programmer Series. The nominees are Gaming Show in My Parents' Garage, Science Nights, Experiments at Large, We Are Sad. get to go out very often like that for obvious reasons um but just to have so many of my friends I think in one place was just so special I totally thought we were gonna win by the way <laughs> I was ready I had my chair perched I was like I moved my chair and my leg was out and I was like fully convinced we were gonna win we didn't win but that was really fun 